We all have old photos and keepsakes, but sometimes they are thrown in a box and forgotten. Aaron Snyder is here again from NeatInYourNest.com uh, with some ideas on how to organize them, keep them safe so we can enjoy them for years to come. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Okay, so forget, I mean, obviously I, I have a basement and there are boxes full of photographs right. and, you know, uh, artwork that Yearbooks, my kid did. And things Yearbook, like yeah, that. all that. So, and, and they're just in there. I, know, I don't know what to do with them. Most people have too many keepsakes. So the very mm. first tip is try to narrow it down a little bit. Okay. You don't need to keep everything. You're not a bad parent or a friend <laughs> or a daughter if you get rid of oh, some stuff. Oh, good. Okay. So keep the most important things and right. find a way to actually display them and use them so that they're meaningful to you. Okay. All right. So the first thing is kids art. People want to keep everything their five year old brings home, every finger painting. You don't have to do it. Uh, one way is to take pictures of them. So you've got, you know, them digitized. You can get rid of the hard copies, especially if they're big. I like to joke about my uh, son's cotton ball Easter bunny, which was huge. <laughs> I don't need to keep that, but I do have a picture. So every year I actually print an 8 by 10 photo of my favorites oh, right there. And Heaven's then I, Art 2012. Yep. So you can put it in a photo album. You can hang it on the that wall. That is a great idea. I also actually have made a mug of them. It's a great Mother's Day gift. Yeah. I've given one to my husband. So you, there's a couple different ways you can take their art and turn it into actually art you can use. Right. And a lot of art all together in one small exactly. container. Okay. All right. Now, a lot of people still scrapbook, but Ugh. most people are going digital. So yes. I do a lot of these books. I do as well. They're great to do it by year, by occasion, by child. Mm -hmm. uh, they're easy to make on the computer. They're thin profile. You can store a lot of them without taking up too much space. Uh, so it's a great way, you know, to actually be able to look through your photos. And, you know, old photos, they discolor and all that, mm -hmm. you know. So this is a great way to keep them vivid. And you can make all. copies for yeah, your family, that's too. that's right. Another thing I do is I always make a calendar every year of the photos from the previous year. And usually they've got this thumbnail page, so you can just keep that at the end of the year. Oh. So you can actually do a little collage book, you know, from year to year. So you've got all those photos saved. So, you know, make sure you're using your photos. Don't just leave them on your computer. Share them. Okay. So this uh, was an interesting idea too, and I haven't really thought of this. So all right. So a lot of people get T-shirts. If you're in a fraternity, you do races, and most of them have an emblem on them. Once they get ratty, or if you don't wear them anymore, turn them into a quilt. There's companies that do this. A lot of people can do it themselves. Uh, you can shadow box them. You can just take that emblem. That way, you get to keep the memory without filling your closet of clothes that you don't wear anymore. And I know people do this with their kids' jerseys and things like Absolutely. that if they're involved in sports. And then yeah, you have it in a quilt, and uh, yeah, it's all put together. All right. And We're then family heirlooms. A yeah. lot of people get stuff and they don't know what to do with it. They want to treasure their family memories, right. but they don't want to put them in a box. So one way to do that is shadow boxes. My sister actually took some of my grandma's paint brushes there. Aww. You can see you don't need all 50 of them. Just three make a nice display. Okay. It's a great piece of art and it's a good memory for your family. Got it. Um, or use them creatively. Uh, my grandma also collected beer steins and so I don't need 20 beer <laughs> steins, all right. but one used as a pencil cup on my desk. You know, is a great way and to every actually... every time you look at it, you'll remember. It's a good memory. Yeah. It's something you Useful and it's something beautiful for the home. All right, I love this idea, and I know with kids, with you know, you mentioned parents keeping all the artwork, and eventually yes. that gets handed down to the kids. Yes. And eventually, once they move out of the house, these are yours. And you take them with you. Are, <laughs> chances are they don't want thirty boxes, right. but they would love a mug or a special, a special memory that you've done for them. Well, you've got great ideas as always. Neatinyournest.com. That's how to check out Erin and all her great ideas. Thanks so much. Thank we'll see you, you next time. Thanks so much.